In 1858, a pivotal event occurred in the history of evolutionary biology. Known as the Darwin-Wallace theory of evolution, Charles Darwin, an English naturalist, had been working on his theory of evolution by natural selection for over two decades, but had not yet published his ideas. At the same time, Alfred Russell Wallace, a British naturalist, independently arrived at a similar theory. While Darwin was developing his theory, Wallace was conducting fieldwork in Southeast Asia, collecting specimens and observing the rich biodiversity of the region. During his travels, Wallace formulated his own hypothesis of natural selection as the mechanism driving evolution. In February 1858, Wallace wrote a letter to Darwin, outlining his ideas and requesting Darwin's opinion and support. Upon receiving Wallace's letter, Darwin was taken aback. He realized that Wallace had independently arrived at a concept similar to his own theory. Recognizing the significance of Wallace's work, Darwin turned to his friends and colleagues, Joseph Hooker and Charles Lyell, seeking their advice on how to handle the situation. They collectively decided that both Darwin and Wallace's work should be presented together to the scientific community. In July 1858, a joint paper titled, On the Tendency of Species to Form Varieties, and On the Perpetuation of Varieties and Species by Natural Means of Selection, was presented at the Linnean Society of London. This paper included an abstract of Darwin's earlier work and Wallace's letter. While the joint presentation was not widely noticed at the time, it marked the official public acknowledgement of both Darwin and Wallace's contributions to the theory of evolution by natural selection. Later that same year, Darwin published his monumental work, On the Origin of Species. Expanding on his theory in greater detail, this book provided extensive evidence and arguments for the concept of evolution through natural selection, and garnered significant attention and controversy. Darwin's book is now considered one of the most influential scientific works of all time. The case of Darwin and Wallace illustrates the concept of multiple discovery, where different individuals independently arrive at the same or similar conclusions. Although Wallace's letter prompted Darwin to finally publish his own ideas, both scientists made substantial contributions to the theory of evolution and are recognized for their pioneering work in the field.